hello dear humans hope you are doing well so in this second episode we will start working with angular but before that let me just remind you what we did in previously it was very short uh, video we simply configure the the back end of press shop to to serve these web services and uh, we did install uh, the latest version of angular the 5.6 i guess and it's ready and simply i did change the title as you may select it, it's press angular so i think it's kind of um fit well with the subject so i think that uh, well and i hope that you like it all right so also in uh, in the angular app i simply tweak a bit or prepare some packages some dependencies since we will be working with um, with web services so i instantiate since I import actually the HTTP uh, guys, yeah, the HTTP module and HTTP client module, and uh, I import them right here, and that's it. So now the very first step into our Angular. Now we forget about PrestaShop since it's good and it's working well. But one thing about uh, PrestaShop is we will be uh, changing the URL. So if you do remember the last time we did localhost. Okay, my computer is. Uh, all right, so localhost slash API slash uh, categories. If you do remember, we simply configured uh, the categories and we did, we did this, all right? So we hit directly and we get that XML response. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, so we do have um, an XML response and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of XML and I think uh, Angular 2 is fit very very well and much easier to work with the JSON uh, format so we need to just add a little bit of parameters a couple of them actually there so it will be output format uh, JSON and this is this is the key and display for uh, all the details all right so we will get a very beautiful JSON object with categories as a title so that's it uh, the change um, um, referring to uh, the previous video and now let me get back to uh, the ID and we will create a service so just back to the console and uh, since I'm using the, the CLI the ng CLI I uh, will simply type ng generate service and let me call this presta shop and hit enter and uh, the two files are created and if let me jump into it the ts file directly so it's uh, this very basic service file okay now let me just import it or provide it into my app.module.ts so i'll do uh, so it will be presta shop service and the to import thanks for it all right that's it so it's imported right here this service is empty and does not return anything for instance let me just close this and back to the service and inside let me just create a very simple and basic like get uh let's imagine this will be get categories and it will return a dummy simple stuff like return hello humans all right okay fine now let's go back to our component .cs and we will call that service. So I did uh, instantiate it as a private, oops, as a private into my constructor and let me just call that to get method. So do this uh, title equal to this prestashop service get category and back to the home page refresh it and it does call that hello humans all right enough with dummy content and let's go back to the service and start the, the lifting work okay so this category actually will call that url that we did call it seconds ago if you do remember so i need to define some parameters some uh, some some parameters, some attributes like the url uh, will be equal to uh, localhost uh, this actually this URL and also I need to define that key equals to the key we did generate in the previous video if you do remember uh, and also I will concatenate this little fix I call it um, hotfix or whatever so uh, let's call this URL um, add-ons okay let's go for it and save and there you go so we did construct the full URL 
and now we need to get back to get categories and as you do see you do see here we have slash categories and we concatenate this uh, WS key stand for web service key all right so let me just first of all build that URL uh, maybe I will create a new method for it. So let me call this build URL. So let's imagine this uh, this method will generate a URL for categories, subcategories, product, and and so on. So it will get, um, for instance, the call the first one like um, let's call this type. All right. So you get the point. And now let's suppose normally we will have some switch stuff running right here, but to speed up things, I will keep it simple and return a very basic URL that it will be like this, similar to this one. So we will have uh, the very first one would be this dot URL plus uh, a cat slash categories slash categories slash or let's say we will add it ws equals to plus this dot key plus uh, that output that URL addons and and right here this dot URL addons. All right, fine. Okay, we did build the URL correctly. So simply here I will call the http uh, get method we need first of all to provide it so again as we did for this service we did private uh, http with a type of http all right uh, and it's okay with the auto input and now we can use this http inside this function okay so I will do return this dot http dot get okay then inside it I will simply call that URL so you can do simply this uh, get or build URL that's it and we have problem this is a method this is build URL what's wrong with it uh, so expect argument one so you have to, you type okay let's uh, let's remove it and one last thing is to add the method which is uh, passed through the op that option if you uh, see that documentation we do see that we have the url oops let me just jump into the source code so the url that option and we can pass uh, an option a json object right there as an option and the option for me this one i, I need to set the type of the request to get and that's fine now oops just semicolon right there back to the app module or app component sorry dot uh, yes I did type it a little bit of code right here so this is simply consuming that uh, method we defined right here public uh, get categories and what's wrong with it subscribe okay it's aligning subscribe does not exist on a void okay um, we need to uh, this get method did i define well this http okay um well what's wrong with this okay i think okay i did forget to add it return somehow it was deleted all right so uh that's working properly now if we go back to the browser and try to see what's up there i think we will have a problem so first of all we do see that we have an error with um, a body uh, and status uh, zero okay it's false and status is empty status text and uh, there is a failure to load the blah 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 now access control origin header is present on uh, on request resource origin all that stuff okay this problem is actually called um the, some course which stands for uh, cross origin resource sharing and uh, since we are using some sort of cross domain that this is caused by this uh, so the browser uh, send two uh, two type of requests uh, the simple one uh, which is a simple request and this use case if people uh, please if use http uh, request is like get hit post etc and this uh, there is another one called uh, pre-lighted requesters and let me just jump into that network we do see that we have a 200 with a preview of empty so the server return nothing 
due to this issue and I won't spend a lot of time explaining this here is um, in the description you'll find a link uh, for an article right, written by a dude called Theory or Terry uh, Templar who explained all that stuff so I'll show you now how to fix this and we need to go back to uh, to PrestaShop but this time we will be working on its htaccess file and we need to add uh, this block of code of setting actually to allow uh, the server to accept uh, to authorize or to allow access to control allow origin as you may see it. and we can just refresh the page and we will have our results uh, working properly so we do see that that um, the categories uh, are sorted and uh, yeah we can start working with them